Currently, in the U.S., 31 states have the death penalty while 19 do not. It cost California $150 million for death row inmates each year, and only 13 people have been executed in California since 1978. That's enough to buy 750 Ferraris, fill them all with $9,750 each, throw them into the ocean, and still have enough money to buy an extra Ferrari. That's just one state annually. The state of California has spent the entire budget of Star Wars The Force Awakens every time that they have an execution. The capital punishment system is costly and broken. But if the death penalty is costly and doesn't help the government, who exactly does it help? The answer, no one. States with the death penalty, on average, have a 25% higher murder rate than non-death penalty states. Botched or innocent executions are far more common than they should be. To put that in perspective, if all the current 8th graders, 164 of us, were put to death, 5 of them would be botched, causing tremendous pain, while 7 others would be innocent. Take a second to think about that. That is an unacceptable statistic. Some may point out that New Hampshire has the lowest homicide rate of any state, and they still have the death penalty. However, out of the top 10 states with the lowest homicide rate, 8 of them don't have the death penalty. Since 1973, 162 people have been freed from death row for being innocent, and it is estimated that 4% of the current inmates on death row are innocent. There has been 1,473 executions in the United States since 1976, with that number slowly climbing each year. The cost is outrageous. Innocent people are being killed, and it's not even doing its job. Do we really want to continue with this system?